Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about fish that just don't do well in community settings. Now when I'm talking about community aquariums I'm talking about tetras and rainbow fish and corridoras and planet tanks. Uh, I'm not talking about like African cichlid tanks or big central South American tanks just your general community aquarium. Now I've definitely made the mistake of impulse buying and buying fish that I didn't know any better at the time and just didn't do that well. And that's why I want to make this video. Someone new might be researching their first aquarium fish for their community aquarium and hopefully we can help them avoid some disasters. So right off the bat I'm going to go with one of my favorite all-time fish and that is the Bala Shark. Now just because it's my favorite doesn't mean that it's good for community aquariums obviously now when you're buying these or when you see them in fish stores they're only about two and a half to three inches and they look just beautiful they still have that black and white fin that silvery shiny sheen uh, along their body and they just look awesome they're really active and a lot of people get drawn into them however the issue is is that they get over a foot long they're big and they also are a schooling fish so you need a giant school of these fish for them to really thrive and be happy so unless you plan on keeping these in a swimming pool definitely do not make the same mistake i did this poor guy's been with me for a very long time ever since i got back in the hobby he is in an eight foot tank but he's got no buddies uh, there's just not enough room to get him any more buddies and i just feel terrible so don't do what i did not good for your average community aquarium. So next on my list is going to be the rosy barb. Now rosy barbs, they're not a terrible fish by any means. As you can see, they're insanely beautiful, but they are notorious fin nippers. And there's a reason for that. So the rosy barb is actually a cool water species. So when you buy them for your community aquariums, a lot of people are keeping their aquariums in the upper 70s, like 78 is pretty standard. However, when you keep a cooler water fish in warm water, they tend to be more aggressive and that also is going to cause fin nipping. You can see I keep mine outside where it's normally in the low 60s and they do just fine. Now there's definitely some tricks if you have them in your aquarium. The more you have, the less nippy they will be. But in general, the rosy barb is going to be a fin nipper. If you have angelfish or long fin, anything with long fins, they're gonna get nipped. So it's a pretty common fish that you can find in just about any big box store, and I would just highly recommend not putting it in your aquarium. However, if you're gonna do any outside tubbing or if you have an outside pond like I do, they're awesome. As you can see, I've got green water and you can still see them from a mile away. Just a super awesome, beautiful fish for outside. However, in your aquarium, not so much. So next up I want to talk about one of the worst fish you could possibly add to your community aquarium that's sold as a community aquarium fish by the big box stores i.e. Petco, PetSmart, etc. And that is the Chinese algae eater. If you go in looking for a fish tank cleaner or an algae eater a lot of the times this is what you get pointed to and it's such a shame because they are not even algae eaters. They only eat algae as young fish fry. Once they get older, they turn to carnivores and they will wreak havoc on your aquarium and kill whatever they can catch. Also, they get big between six and 10 inches. Just not a good fit. If you're looking for something similar, get the Siamese algae eater, which actually does eat algae and is not so aggressive. However, still gets fairly large at around six inches. Siamese algae eater, yes. Chinese algae eater, no. Next is the pea puffer. Probably one of the most common questions I get asked is what can I put with my pea puffer? And the answer is nothing. These little rage machines are very territorial. They're pretty dang aggressive. So you really should not put these with anything except themselves. They do love being in large groups. The more, the merrier, and that's it. What is more adorable than a giant school or shoal of pea puffers? As you can see, they're all just peeing around doing pea puffer things, and that's the way it should be. Don't uh, don't add these to your community aquariums because they will shred anything at any time. And it's not like one of those fish that as soon as you put them in there, they're just going to rage on everything. You could have this fish just fine in your community aquarium for a year, and then one day it's just like you know what, I'm going to kill everything because I'm bored. So stay away from the pea puffer in your community aquarium. Do a species only tank with lots of them and you will not regret it. 
Now next up, I wanna talk about the Oscar fish. We gotta talk about it. Can't tell you how many times I've been in a Petco or a PetSmart and I've seen someone buying a little two to three inch little cute baby Oscar fish for their community aquarium. And next thing you know, it's six months later, it's the size of a football. There's no other fish in the aquarium. It's eating your plants and it's just wreaking havoc on everything. Now, if you've been around the hobby for a while, you know this is to be true, but hopefully, we can prevent some new hobbyists from buying this for their 55 or 75 gallon community aquarium or small i mean i've seen these in even smaller these fish get massive i'm talking 16 18 inches they get angry just do not buy them duplicate this tank you're seeing right now from kg tropicals who sent me this awesome beautiful oscar footage thank you john but this is how they should be kept not in your community aquariums no matter what the person at petco or petsmart tells you do not do it these are monsters and look at this guy right here he looks like a 70s sofa cushion oh <laughs> this one's actually pretty cool here this orange one i gotta admit that is a pretty good looking fish right here so i want to talk about the tiger barb now this is going to be a little more controversial as they are awesome fish for community aquariums, but they have to be done right. So if you look at this aquarium here, every other fish in the aquarium is quite a bit bigger than the tiger barb. And the reason you want it that way is because tiger barbs are some of the biggest bullies in the aquarium hobby, especially when it comes to fish that people think are good for community aquariums. They're bullies, they're fin nippers, even with each other, they can just harass nonstop. So it's really important with tiger barbs if you want to be successful, species only or species that can handle a bit of bullying and fin nipping so again nothing with long fins or fish that are just larger and they're not gonna go after them now if you want something that's gonna be similar to a tiger barb as far as size the body shape and that's not aggressive fin nipper bully I highly suggest the black ruby barb super peaceful fish not a bully not a fin nipper and they just look amazing a much better alternative if you're looking for something peaceful so the next fish I want to talk about are bikers, bickers, by shears, whatever you want to call them. This is a very easy fish for someone that's new to the hobby to get sucked into. If you're looking at this fish, you know, it's three to four inches. It moves slow. They're somewhat blind. You'd think this would be an awesome little eel-like fish for my aquarium. However, outside of Senegal bikers, most of these fish get massive and while yes, they move slow, they're pretty blind, they don't have the best eyesight. At night, it's very easy for them to pick off fish that are just sleeping, floating around, and if it fits in their mouth, they're gonna eat it. But again, I've made the mistake of buying one of these as a beginner because when you see that, I mean, this is a beautiful fish. How could you not want this fish? However, eventually it's gonna be 12, 14, even 24 inches plus depending on the species. So best left for the monster fish keepers and not your community aquarium. All right, there you go. Part one of my bad fish for your community aquarium series. We're gonna do a part two and a part three. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not. Give me some suggestions down below on what you think is a fish that's commonly sold for community aquariums however it just does not do well in community aquariums check out these other videos hit the subscribe button and i'll see you all next time